Hello, I'm Mark Wilson. I'm from the group uh, Safety in Numbers, which is a, a local group in Stoke, so we have singers and musicians. Um, we're just amateurs, we just love music, but we hate to see what's going on in Ukraine right now. So we decided to get together and put on a charity concert and try to raise some money for the humanitarian effort that's going on out there. And there's been a fantastic response. It's sold out. The people of Stokesley and the surrounding villages uh, have just been fantastic. So uh, we we're really pleased with the turnout. I'm in this just because um, I feel desperately sorry for the people of Ukraine and it, it kind of breaks my heart really and I'm, ju I'm just glad to be able to do what I can. idea to, to give money to Ukraine which we all feel very strongly about. Yeah, no, so, so it's been quite important to you then, hasn't it? Very important. You feel as though you want to do something and sometimes you feel so helpless but um, by doing this we hopefully will raise money for where it's needed. called Russia and is sadly appropriate today as it was the day he wrote it. He wrote, I've sung this song only rarely in the many years since it was written. I never thought that it would be relevant again. But in the light of one man's bloody and woefully misguided decision to invade a peaceful, unthreatening neighbour, the song is once again a plea for our common humanity the brave Ukrainians fighting against this brutal tyranny and also the many Russians who are protesting this outrage despite the threat of arrest and imprisonment stop the war we all of us love our children so stop the war Yeah, well, we've got a guitar band, we love playing guitars, and it's great to be able to help in some way. Just collecting some money for Ukraine's the world, we really would like to help in any way we can, and you know, at least it's something we can do, and we, you know, it's good to be able to do that. Marks organise this concert, so... He's 
Everybody feels very helpless and so it's, it's a real motivation to want to do something at least and I think that's what's actually spurred everybody on and we do it because we can do it and I think that's the real issue. Right, as, as somebody who's come from India at, at a very early age, from 16, I, I empathise with a lot of the people who are actually coming across to try and start a new life in the UK, and I really wish them all the very best. something for the Ukraine that and just to raise awareness of the plight of those people. part in this because it's good fun, really good fun. It's also absolutely essential to support the Ukraine people in their hour of need. What it is, Putin wants shooting. Thank you. feel very strongly about what's going on in Ukraine and um, I think we need to support them as best we can and we can only do it really by raising money which uh, obviously is going to contribute to uh, sending them arms and, uh, and uh, medical equipment and the essentials that they need.
wonderful opportunity to spread the word and wish the Ukrainians all the best and raise a bit of, raise a lot of money I hope. because we're outraged by what's happening in the Ukraine. It, it, it could almost as easily be us. Yeah. And, you know, it's just ridiculous. So if we can do anything to help, and they're a long way away, but if we can do anything to help, we will. Well, I think as a, as a town council, we should support local things and what's happening in the world should be all supported. I think the Ukrainians, they need our support and we should support them. Yeah, I'm Chris Johnson from the town council and I'm helping behind the bar tonight for this great cause and 
thanks to Mark, Will Mark Wilson and the band for doing this. It's fantastic and hope there is lots of money.